We move over to Brad Lawler, Home Team Inspection Service. Uh, Cy sent us an email, and it, it might be of interest to anyone who owns a dog as a pet. Uh, apparently, Cy's had several dogs, and they all uh, go to the bathroom in the backyard. And he's noticed that there are flies constantly in the house. And he's thinking the flies are attracted to the waste material in the backyard, even though it's cleaned up several times a week. And that's possible that could be the cause of why he's just irritated with the flies. So with put your home team and aside yeah. and put your, your, um, my pest control bug out. on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What, it, what's going on there and how does he, uh, work with it? so flies, yeah, flies are going to be attracted to waste matter in the yard with potentially within seconds after it's left and eggs will be deposited. The larva comes out. We refer to those larvas as, maggots um and even though it's cleaned up they're still you know getting into the ground the larva's still there the current weather conditions that we have right now a little bit of, of wet the ground's not cold enough to uh you know freeze anything out yet or uh chill anything off the flies are hatching and they're 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 getting loose and certainly you know we've now started opening windows and doors as fall weather approaches and they're they're coming into our house so yeah i think animals are certainly a big part of that um but they can also congregate you know in any sort of areas where you have uh, trash and and other debris, yard waste uh, can bring them in. Wet recycling, anywhere where there's any sort of you know past food uh, products, uh, that's going to bring in flies and and their larvae. So, do, is there any other? cure for this no um uh, cures yeah i just i I would just say pick it up as fast as you can uh that's the that's the biggest thing um there's a lot of different type of fly lights and things that you can get uh to put in your house that the flies are attracted to late at night they stick to little sticky boards you can get rid of them that way uh or just call a pest control company i mean there are ways to treat your home uh to keep some of those things out and they may identify that it's not just the obvious sources like you know animal waste in the yard but it may be something that is what it, what it was the word chuck just just talked about notorious notorious. Like notorious out there that you know that you're not even looking for so i'm a i'm a really i'm a sucker for gadgets and as my wife ladonna will tell you if i see some gadget i'm going for it if i think it's going to work so uh, I've got two German shepherds, you know, and, and LaDonna and I see these flies every once in a while. They're, they're around the house or outside or inside. So I bought this thing. I, I don't know if it was on, um, I don't know where I saw an ad for it, but Zevo fly insect yeah. track. And yeah. I can't, you know, I'm not, this is not a commercial. I don't own stock. Yeah. I don't Z E V O. Yep. It's got this cool little light behind it. And then it's got some sticky thing in there. I've yep. only had it about a week, so I haven't checked. They, so, they, yeah, yeah they, they should work pretty well. It's just, that's just a very small version of what we put into commercial applications. You know, every, every restaurant probably in the city has some sort of a fly light in it that will attract the flies after hours. Do they hours. attract gnats? Uh, yeah. Anything, you know, they'll, they'll all be attracted to the, uh, to the light in it. So yes, they, they will work for gnats as well. Chuck, you have now, a gnat problem? Everywhere. It seems everybody I know is talking about lots of gnats. Yeah. I had some at the office. I had some at the house. Uh, it seemed like they came in a wave and yep. then they're gone. Hmm. Um, yeah, a, a lot of times, Chuck, you'll get some like a like a piece of fruit that gets left too long. That, no, uh, I, that was my and, first thought, yeah, and, and I made and, sure that all went away. Right, but what's happened is you've left some of the material from what was there, meaning the you know the the eggs. The larva from those gnats, uh, they may get into your drains. There's a lot of different places that they're going to go hide out. All they need is just that starting point. But yeah, those little those little fly lights with the sticky boards, you know, they 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 may be okay if you've got yeah. a limited type of problem. Give so I had a three pronged approach. The first one was to remove the offending stuff. Yep. Right, it still didn't work. Then I cleaned with Clorox and yeah. everything. Every surface got cleaned, and had that not worked, uh, I was going to pour kerosene and light a match. No, no. So b before yeah. you do that, I will tell you, there are some natural traps out there that you can buy, you, you know, pest control companies sell them too, but they're little traps. You open them up and you add a little bit of water to them. And basically it kind of takes the place of that, you know, where a lot of people are putting out like apple cider vinegar on their counter. Yeah, these little, work. these little traps actually work very well because it draws the, the gnats inside of them and it's all natural. There's not, they're not using any chemicals. They're literally a trap, but they, they are attracted to that smell um and do they work you know they, they work pretty right. pretty well all right so i will tell you i have a genius for a wife 
mm-hmm. and I'm not blowing smoke. Mm-hmm. And we were having mm-hmm. ants on the front porch where you walk up to the house. Mm-hmm. She saw them. She goes, we need some bleach. So she goes in, gets some bleach and she pours it on the stoop of the front. We haven't seen an ant. So what is, is the bleach killing them or is it just no. The, the only thing, yeah, the only thing you're doing there with bleach um, is just you're wiping out the pheromone trail uh, oh. that that was there. So the ants are just moved somewhere else. It's not, it's oh, not okay. killing them off. It's just they're just now somewhere else. All right, out well, there, but well, but yeah. it does. It takes care of the uh, the trail. That's why you know Chuck's cleanup. You know, there if it had been for ants, then you know they would have disappeared from those kitchen counters too. All right. A reminder for you, if you're thinking of selling your home, we have a free, no obligation book. It has hundreds of useful tips. If you want a copy, it's free. Just send an email, bob at com. Put selling tips in the subject line. I'll send that right out to you. And also, if you're thinking, well, what does a home inspection involve? Brad and Home Team Inspection Service also has a report which says, what do you expect during an inspection? Send me an email, bob at com, and put the word inspection in the subject line, and I'll send that back out to you. 